It's about a rather touchy topic, maybe. Um, but don't worry, I'll keep you guys rather entertained as I play this. But um, this is serious. And the struggle is mental health and is overlooked and pushed aside and invalidated, right? And often people just don't seem to quote unquote understand, which I understand, no pun intended there, but the challenge is when they don't understand. Like I myself struggle with major depression, okay? And I hear all the time, to, oh, think positive, or people have it worse than you, so feel lucky. Now, I can't just feel lucky. And I think a lot of you guys feel similar if you struggle with mental health, but again, my journey is different than yours. But it can be similar. And I just want you guys to know that there is no judgment from me. But beyond all of that is with all the invalidation, it hurts. And there are many, 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 many factors to the decline of mental health. And one of the most common ones is bullying, or you're just born with a chemical imbalance. And a lot of the time, it is the chemical imbalance, but it's really hard to point out depression, like really, really hard, or any mental health disorder. And it's not just say, oh, this person's sad, they must be depressed, or this person's happy and sad, they must have bipolar. No, it hides. It will hide under the shadows, under your bed. And it's just, it's difficult for all of us. But I want people to know mental health is just as important as physical health. And people are also being told that people have it better, people have it worse. It's like saying, but just, or think happy thoughts. But I don't want to insult anybody who has this. But it's like saying, to somebody who has, um, what is this called? Asthma? To breathe, because there's lots of air in the room. That is invalidating on many levels. It's telling this person that, oh, your struggle doesn't matter. But everybody's struggle does. Either through how English, please work. It's either how um, how you cope or, like, I don't blame you if you use anything as you cope or there's SIB if you cope. I don't, I don't judge you, but people will. And it's even more invalidating, making everything worse. So I want everybody here who's watching this to understand that no it's not all in our head it's not they're demons that eat you alive like a cancer and i don't want to insult anybody who has that but mental health is basically a chemical cancer it feels like so the best i can explain a depression for me is Imagining your most painful memory and then amplifying it by a trillion 
And then imagine feeling like that for all of eternity or what feels like an eternity. And that's impossible. And it can drive people to, dare I say, the permanent solution to a temporary problem. While mental health issues may never go away completely, they get more easy to deal with. And that's what you call the temporary. It's the worst at the beginning, but it evens out as you get help. That's what they call the temporary. The horror is the temporary. But we don't want people going for the permanent solution. I know that. I've been at the permanent solution and it's impossible. If somebody tells you that they're like that, you need to take them seriously. They're not asking for attention. They're asking for help. That's really all I can tell you. The signs are using more substances or more drinks or more like, dare I say, self-harm. And I don't mean to put anything on anybody or anything at all. But honestly, that's how you cope. And then you get judged. But I don't judge you guys. And what I want is no matter what somebody tells you about your mental health, just know your struggle is just as valid as anybody else's. Your struggle is just as valid as mine, as mine is as valid as somebody else's and vice versa. I can go on that tangent of whose is as valid as whose for a million years because, or a billion years, because there's 8 billion people on this planet and I'll get to that later. But I just need all of you to know mental health is serious. If somebody tells you or shows you how they cope, take them seriously. If they're considering the permanent solution, go to the Trevor Project if you're LGBT like I am. Or the National Hotline. Honestly, 741-741, they didn't really help me. So I went to Trevor Project and they've, they've worked wonders. So, please, this is for anybody who needs to get educated on this or anybody who's struggling themselves. You need to understand that your struggle is important as mine and mine is as important as anybody else's. It's not in your head. The only reason that it's in your head is because it's a chemical imbalance in the brain through either chemical deformity a physical deformity or brain damage. But everything else is just as real as everything else. And the last thing I want is somebody to feel invalidated all because they sleep all day or they don't talk or stay up all night or even more or even worse. I just don't want people thinking, but I can't control how you guys think, but I'm okay with that. I just want you guys to know that there is somebody out there that doesn't judge, but cares. I don't know you and you don't know me, but I want to at least help. If you need any extra help, drop by on my DVNR or I can set up a Discord so that I can help you out. Because you're important to me even if I don't know you. Okay? I just wanted to give that all the education for people and the support you guys need. Okay? And I'll see you on the next time.